Hello, Kent County. I'm Dr. Adam London, Director of the Kent County Health Department. I have some great news to share with you about progress that we're making in the community, changes that are happening. First, I want to revisit where we've been a little bit. The last two years have been difficult and have tested our communities in innumerable ways. As of the time of this video, at least 1,275 Kent County residents have died because of SARS-CoV-2 virus and complications from COVID-19 illness. Many thousands more have been severely harmed and hospitalized. Some continue to struggle with long COVID symptoms and multi-system inflammatory syndrome. The health of our community has also been harmed by the many other economic, academic, and social disruptions related to this pandemic. December of 2021 was the third deadliest month of the pandemic here in Kent County with 143 COVID-19 deaths. The peak of Delta variant cases with its impressive virulence in December pushed our healthcare systems and other essential infrastructure to the brink of capacity. As the pace of cases started to decline, we learned of the inevitable arrival of the fast spreading but milder Omicron variant. Now as expected, the Omicron surge accelerated quickly in January to the high, highest daily case numbers observed at any point in the pandemic. January of 2022 was the fourth deadliest month in Kent County as we lost 105 residents to COVID-19. Due to these dynamic factors, I reconciled an existing public health order on January 11th after the CDC presented revised guidelines for COVID mitigation in the K through 12 educational setting. That reconciled public health order required three things. It required schools to exclude COVID positive individuals from the educational setting for the duration of their recommended isolation period. It required them to exclude unvaccinated household close contacts of known COVID cases in accordance with CDC recommendations. And three, to publicly post the school's COVID mitigation strategy. Now, thankfully, over the course of the past several weeks, we have seen the surge caused by the Omicron variant diminish as quickly as it arrived. For perspective, in mid-January, Kent County was experiencing a pandemic high of over 1,200 diagnosed cases on average per day. And the positivity rate of COVID tests was over 40%. We are now averaging 158 new diagnosed cases per day and the positivity rate of new tests is standing at an average of 15.4% and dropping quickly. The situation in our local hospitals has improved as well. In the course of the past couple of months, we've seen COVID-19 inpatient numbers fall from near 400 people to less than 200. This decline in hospital caseload appears consistent and sustained. In response, the leadership of Spectrum Health West Michigan changed their emergency level from the most severe red category to a less dire level of yellow. Meanwhile, increased access to rapid testing and an expanded range of therapies has improved the probability for successful outcome for those people who do become ill. Finally, on February 16th, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services announced that the state is now officially considered in a post-surge recovery stage. At that time, the state also lifted the indoor mask advisory for most public places, including schools, but did not include high-risk congregate care settings. In response to these improving conditions in the state's announcement, the Kent County Health Department is communicating the following. Number one, as we approach the post-pandemic future, we must recognize that COVID-19 is an illness that is likely to be with us indefinitely. The Kent County Health Department, along with other medical and public health experts, will continue to share information and resources useful for preventing illness and protecting health. We will do this in much the same way that we protect public health from many other threats. Number two, the public health order dated January 11th this year will expire at the conclusion of the school day on Friday, February 18th, 2022. There are no other public health orders related to COVID-19 presently in effect from the Kent County Health Department. Number three, the CDC and MDHHS have published guidance for COVID-19 mitigation in schools and many other settings. 
It is our understanding that those agencies will continue to produce evidence-based recommendations as the situation unfolds. That guidance is readily accessible and residents are encouraged to stay informed. Number four, we recognize that the harms caused by COVID-19 are real, they're substantial, and that each individual's decisions affect the safety of others. We also recognize that COVID-19 mitigation comes with costs and should be weighed against other concerns and priorities. In this post-surge recovery stage, it is appropriate now for individuals, educational settings, and others to weigh these considerations carefully and to make decisions that best fit their own unique circumstances. And in the spirit of this recognition, public health recommendations are properly understood as advice and are not directive. And number five, the Kent County Health Department will continue to monitor community-wide epidemiology in accordance with our program requirements and will intervene as appropriate when outbreaks and other imminent dangers are identified. Now, the Health Department has also received numerous inquiries related to COVID-19 vaccine mandates. Please be advised, this office will not issue a mandate for the COVID-19 vaccination for the public. The available vaccines have demonstrated their safety and efficacy for reducing transmission and significantly reducing the probability of severe COVID-19 illness and death. All eligible persons are encouraged to get vaccinated. However, this office will not mandate the vaccine for the public. This in no way adds to or detracts from the ability of individual employers or organizations to enact vaccine policies that they deem protective of their workplaces. Further, the Kent County Health Department has no participation in the decision-making of state or federal policymakers relative to the issue of vaccine requirements. And please also, please be advised that, that nothing uh, in this announcement has any effect on any of the requirements or authorities currently in place from the state of Michigan or federal public health agencies. And finally, I want to thank you, everyone, for all that you've done during the course of this pandemic to protect yourselves, your family, your friends, your neighbors, and everyone in our community. Your work has truly saved lives and has made this a healthier community for all. Thank you. It's much appreciated. Well done. And please stay positive, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you again very soon.